So what? Who do we have next? Sagittarius. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I'm at home. I'm not at my office, and I don't have like all my accoutrements. But oh, I do have a Triantra in my purse. Yay! Awesome. I felt like doing some readings. Um, I did my, I did a um, CNA gig for um, the agency I work for today. So. I was like, should I, after working um, that job, go to my office, go to a tea room? Should I go out? Should I stay in? Should I just chill? Wait till tomorrow? Then I decided that I do feel like doing readings, but I don't feel like leaving the house. Ta-da! Here I am. Okay. So we're going to clap three times. Yes. And now we're going to, um, ooh, that really always, like, does that for me. And um, we're going to focus on the Sri Yantra, Sag, and see what messages we get for your highest purpose, highest good, prosperity, and abundance. You know, prosperity and abundance doesn't necessarily have to be material, you know? You can be abundantly insane. You can be used in any, um, as an adjective to describe anything. So, Sagittarius, let's see. Okay, so okay, so the first thing I felt or saw were like trees. I don't want like a malfunction here, or trees. Um, and a word I saw was a luck, and and the thing that I peered through was that everything is good. So let's um, yeah, the thing that was like at the center of it all was that you're fine. Like, everything may not be perfect, but you're fine. That's the message that I was getting through, like, the haze of my own thoughts. Um, I don't overthink the messages that I get. I trust my first impressions because then if you start thinking about it, it goes away. And you you don't know what messages to choose, you know. So when you when I ask a question, and I'm saying this for you too, when you ask a question, and you get an answer, trust that it's the answer and go with it. Just that's what I do. It's I I do that in my own life. I just I ask. I'm like I need help. If I like when I finally realize that I'm not asking for help or I'm not asking for what I want and I do ask for what I want or I ask for clarity and I get it I, I believe it okay so I don't have my sacred India tarot cards that I like to use for um, zodiac readings so we'll just be using the um, what we consider now classic tarot and I feel like that's fine Switch it up. Sagittarius. Sag. Yeah, again, I, I keep getting the message that you're okay, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Whew. I get all these messages. All right, let me peer into your world here. So, okay, okay. In the center is the King of Pentacles, which I feel like is you. Um, and in this reading, I feel like you are deciding to focus on what you have what's going well 
um, what what you have to work with because you do have a lot to work with. And you decided to stay focused because in the past you have not been focused and it has gotten you nowhere sad, you know, and you've learned, you've learned a lesson. That's, that's what's coming through for me, for you. You have learned a lesson that when all falls apart around you, because these are the two cards on your side, this, the, um, six of wands reversed and then the, um, the five of swords reversed and I'm, and I'm smiling because it seems like it's almost like you are um, moving out the way and letting everybody else fight. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, for instance, um, I'm I am the the scapegoat in my family, and when I left, when I escaped out the gate. It left the rest of my family, the narcissist and her flying monkeys, to fight amongst each other until they basically destroyed each other. And, like, there's nothing left of my family. For real. Like, there's nothing there. The scapegoat being there in the center or the scapegoat being there, like, loving everyone and, like, um, nurturing everybody and making sure everything's okay and caring and loving everybody and like, coo, 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 doo, 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 doo. oh, it's going to be okay while, you know, you don't have focus on your life at all, which is the reason for the scapegoat in the family, just to let you guys know in any situation you're in and everybody, um, you're around unsupportive people, but they love that you love them. Get away from them. You know, it's not it's not worth your time, effort, or... And I see that you see that now. I feel like what's going on around you is maybe people who backstab you and people who want to fight and argue for no reason. It's, the, it's done. It's over with. People just want to rehash, like, old shit from yesterday. And you're like... Like, I, I don't know why, but in my mind, I'm like, you're sewing. You're focused. And you're enjoying what you're making of your life now. You've learned. And that's why, you know, I was saying that you're good. Look at the King of Pentacles, you know. I love um, the tarot deck because it's so, like, nature-centered. All these kings and queens are, like, sitting on a throne outside, made of wood and uh, uh just stone and, and natural natural things that you find in nature and he is so full of abundance that you can't even like tell he has everything he needs and more and then some there's a castle behind him right here you know, there's a pinnacle on his knee, like he's Santa, and he's asking them, he's asking the, um, his abundance, what else? What else? What, what more? What do I want? What do we want to do today? Oh, we just want to sit here on our throne and just watch the birds. You see, his foot is sticking out and he has on his night armor underneath his light garb. He's hot as hell. I hope it's not. I hope it's he's in Scotland or something. You know, so it's, a, it's like underneath it all, you know, you still are capable of pulling up if you need to. But, you know, everything that's going on around you has been is and has been so petty you don't even like really care to fuss anymore about it. Good for you. Good for you, Sagittarius. Good for you. Let them clash. Like you move yourself out the way, kind of like you um um use what is that martial art where you use your own energy or you let other people use their energy while you like when they come towards you, you pull them. 
in that direction and let them crash into the wall. I, I'm really good at that, actually. <laughs> when I'm play fighting with people, because I love to, like, fight, like, play fight and stuff. That's one of the tactics I use all the time. Like, someone, somebody will come charging at me, and then I'll just kind of, like, stand there and then move. Or like help or or pull we pull their arm or something while they're like moving really fast towards me thinking they're about to attack me. Just move out their way. And then these people seem to be kind of like related. I'm sorry. I I can see the cards you can't relate it to each other, cross paths in some way, because I can see them like as you focus on yourself. No, it's your fault. No, it's your no, it's your like the same these antics that are going on aren't because of you. That's what I'm trying to say. Like people aren't the way they are because of you. People may not be mature enough to use their words for their wounds. And so you have you have had you have had to become a target in the past. And and now that you are decidedly kind of like, you know what? I'm grandfather. I'm I'm grandpa. I I'm building a legacy. I tried to get you guys to work for me, work with me, um, but I see that you want to work against me. And so now I'm going to just keep on growing and building. And when you guys grow up, it'll be here for you. Because I see you taking that stance. Because Sagittarius never gives up on their family. And on their friends. I don't know if these are sheep. But you have them all around you. I don't, you can't, you probably can't see this because I can barely see it. So it looks like the King of Pentacles in this picture has like lots of one, two, where's the other one? Three, lots of things around him that can work for him. Pay it, look out for things around you that can work for you, work for your good instead of, you know, um, so that you can have this look of delight on your face. Okay, that's that's your reading. I don't have anything else to say. I, I drug it out for as long as I could for you. But that's it. Have a great evening. Join me on Patreon. Um A of the Dawn. You no not you are on YouTube. Uh Instagram at Tangled Fairy Eleven. And if you're in Atlanta, please join me on Meetup, but actually show up. And see, that's why I started charging. You have to pay in advance because I make all these events and like people sign RSVP and then don't show up. That is such a waste of my time. I could have had a V8. Like I could, I could have been chilling and enjoying my time off. So yes, join, join, the, join the Unicorn Collective um, and look at some of the events we have coming up. I've been working on my energy. So a lot of the creative stuff that I want to do, like, um, um, make skits and just have like a real collective. I want to make like an art a art saloon for sensitive people where we get together and we collaborate and put our um creativity together and make something for for sensitive people like that. Anyway, we'll talk. If you join, we'll talk. Peace. <laughs>